It's a billiard ball problem, so let's see if we can figure out. So it's a one billiard ball is shot to the east at two meters per second. A second billiard ball, identical, so that means it's going to have the same mass, is shot to the west at one meters per second. So when it's identical, I'm just going to say they weigh one kilogram. I know they don't. It's going to make a life a lot easier uh, when you're doing that. They have a glancing collision. You've probably seen this in, in a billiard thing. And then the resultant... So this is going to come here, it hits here, and then it completely goes straight to the north, the, the top ball, if you will, and he comes off at 1.41 meters per second. So what's going to happen to this ball? That's the question. So this ball, if you think about it, if this ball shoots north, this ball is going to have to come off at some angle to the south, right? So on this one, it's all about conservation of momentum. So we're going to call this ball one. We're going to call this ball two. So the momentum before the experiment, before, as the, right before they collide, is going to be m, m1v1 plus m2v2 is going to equal m1. This is, B, this is a four. This is after M1V1 plus M2V2, and this is after. But we have to do this in the X and in the Y direction. So let's do it in the X direction. I can say 1 is your mass times the velocity of 2 plus, now watch this, 1 is your mass, right? The velocity is negative 1 because he's moving in the negative direction. That's going to be equal to 1 times V1. This is in the X. Let me just call V1X plus M2, which is 1. And in the X direction, remember the ball is only shooting straight north. He's going to have 0. All right? So we can find the velocity in the X direction from this equation and this equation only, right? So I can do, because it's just 2 minus 1 equals 1x, so I can say that v1, uh, this is the ball 1, right, in the x direction is going to just simply be, I think it's negative 1. No, it's 1 meter per second. Right, that's important. That's not the whole answer, because I then have to repeat the same thing in the y. So let's do y. Same equation applies, m1, v1. What's m1? 1. Now, in the y direction, originally, he's just moving in the x direction, so it's 1 times 0, all right, plus he is moving in the, only in the x direction, so he's going to be uh, 1 times 0 is going to equal to mass 1, 1, times the v1. Now, there is a, that's going to matter in the y direction, right, plus, hold on, that's not right. He's 1, and he has a 1.41 meters per second, because this is the resultant, because it has to add up to, well, we don't know what that, yeah, yeah, that originally he has, well, he has 0 at the beginning, so after the experiment is 1.41. So never mind. This would be a zero. I was right the first time. But we do know that we've got a one, the ball afterwards, that's the, the ball two, at the end of the experiment, has a speed of 1.41, positive. So now, with this equation, I basically have zero equals V1Y plus 1.41, right? So what is Vy? Um, Vy, V1y equals negative 1.41 meters per second. Now what's it asking right there? What's the speed after the collision? Now you have to add them vectorally. Well, let's actually draw them out. In the x direction, it's positive 1. And in the y direction, it's 
negative 1.41. See how I'm this one, like one long, and this is longer than 1.41? Because the actual velocity is the hypotenuse of this triangle. And so then you're going to have to use Pythagorean theorem. I, I put a negative because it's going down, but from a certain perspective, well, you just want to find what the length of this is. You can make it positive. Uh, one, negative 1 1.41 squared is still one. Yeah, positive. So, and then you can also find the angle using um, uh, sines. I would do tangent. And you can find the angle. And then you can figure, that makes sense, right? I kind of predicted that it's going to kind of jot off in this direction. And it looks like it is. It's 1 to 1.41. And that's how you solve the problem.